Good morning. All right, so this morning I'm actually gonna be finally planting this collard green plant. And I just wanted to show you guys something very, very interesting that I found um, the other day. Gosh, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it. Yeah, cause it's all the way down in there. Um, in this glass is what's called a cabbage worm. And I thought it was so interesting. Cause I'm like, hold up, this thing just started to grow. So how come there was something eaten at the leaves? And I don't think what we realize is when these things come from the store, they still have eggs on them from other bugs that normally eat on them. So keep that in mind when you buy vegetables from the store, you better be soaking that thing good, uh, finding some vinegar or something to soak it in. I'm gonna have to read up more on that, but definitely because you're gonna be eating bugs. So, but hey, if it's not alive, yeah, I guess it's okay, extra protein. Anyway, so let's move on to how I'm going to uh, plant this. All right, so I have a couple of options here. Um, I've saved a bunch of plastic um, milk jugs and of course cardboard um, uh, milk cartons and of course oatmeal. I've already used the other half of it. <laughs> uh, these oatmeal cardboard um, containers as well. And this is good for giving off nitrogen. Um, this is what you would use to do compost. So if you're gonna break down your compost with green vegetables or fruit skin and stuff like that, you need nitrogen. I figured what better way to boost my plant and make it grow before I put it into something else than within this. Now the only thing now is I need to create drainage. Use this to poke uh, holes in it. So you need the water to be able to drain out um, of the soil. So, you know, get creative, whatever you want to do. But eventually this cardboard will break down. It's not a permanent hole, but it's great very great for your plant to grow. I thought about that. I was like, why am I not doing that? You see that Home Depot where they have the cardboard little boxes that they have them growing, little planters. So, all right, and now I'm just gonna put some soil in there. So I'm gonna, we're gonna head outside and plant this. And I'm doing this so I can sift the soil into the pan. And I just shift it. So I don't put all that in there. It doesn't matter if you put leaves in there because once again, it's not, I believe it's called nitrogen. It gives off, it feeds your plant. So it's not a bad thing. It helps it grow. Sometimes it helps it grow like much larger, much bigger, much faster. So I think that'll do for now. Yeah, we should have waited <laughs> to put more soil on the top. There we go. All right. And I'm just gonna pat it down just a little bit to make sure it's stable. And I'm just gonna water it. A little rain water that I caught. And that's my plant. Collard greens that I grew from a bunch that I bought. <laughs> and just planted it in my wine glass and it grew roots. All right, well, thank you for watching.